All right, man, what up, YouTube, man? I just want to make this video because this is something that I was just thinking about, and I was like, man, I got to make this video and let y'all know how I feel. But it's crazy to me how everybody in this world considers themselves like a leader or let's say a trendsetter or something, something that just makes them sound like they're in front. But I say that because something, something bothers me. Like it's crazy how when somebody could be like putting something out there, like, like, like say somebody just started making shoes and they want to have their own shoe brand or their own clothes or they started making jewelry or something like that. That's affordable to people. And it's not, you know what I'm saying Louis. I mean, they don't have the the name, but stuff that looks better, like like shoes. Uh, it's this one dude that I see. Um, his name, his Instagram or something is like Saya Collective or something like that. I don't know how much his shoes is, but I think they decent. Like if I had the money, I would definitely buy them. But I say that to say this: like it's crazy how when people is trying to start something. Whether it be like creating baskets for people on special occasions like my sister do or just like doing creative designs and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Creating websites or whatever it may be. When you're trying to get that stuff put out there and get people like interested in it, like, hey, uh, buy this shirt from me or hey, buy this basket for Valentine's Day. I can make it for your spouse or your significant other, whoever you're talking about. People like don't be interested like. Why? But they would go to Walmart or Target or anywhere and go get the same thing, the same exact thing and spend twice as much. Like, bro, you could have just messed with a black business or a small business or somebody that you knew that was doing something like this and got it done. Or like like cleaning your car, like a, like car service. Somebody who does uh, full interior to clean and do like for $100. But you will go to freaking uh, some auto spy or something to spend like 350 to get it done like yo like why not support the people that's trying to you know what i'm saying get something started that's has affordable prices and that's like going to do good work or has nice clothes or has uh uh like things that are appealing Great designs, great baskets. Like, man, I can get one of them baskets made for like $25 for my wife and she'll appreciate it. But they won't mess with you. Like, and, and I'm I'm saying all this because I'm thinking in my head, like, I have a clothing brand and I was just looking at some of my clothes, like, on people. I'm like, man, these look, man they look tight. They look decent. You know? ah, they look tight, decent. But I'm like, it's partially my fault. Because I don't market like I should, but it's like when I do ask people, like, "Hey, woo -woo, are you interested or whatever?" They're like, "Nah." But then, like the next day, or not, not necessarily. I'm exaggerating, but like the next day, I see them in like a whole new ass Nike tracksuit. Like, bro, I was selling my stuff for half as much, and it's twice as better. Like, I know that, but I I'm not saying that to to complain um, that uh, more people should start. Uh, messing with me or this or that. I'm just saying it because I see it often. Like people who, who, who just start things or have things of interest, but people don't mess with it. Like when my best friend was making bracelets and stuff, man, I bought every bracelet I could. But then people would go to online and spend like four hundred fifty dollars for the same bracelet. Like it's not like it's real gold or real platinum or crystal or diamond like these is like marble beads like they don't cost that much you might as well just get it done for somebody who you know does good work at a reasonable price but i just want to go back to how when i started this video and said followers and leaders and trendsetters it's crazy because i'm gonna use myself an example I could be posting all my clothes and saying, man, y'all should get these outfits, these track suits, et cetera, et cetera. And nobody will mess with me. Nobody. But let that mug, let it flip. Or let, let them see Kanye or Drake or somebody with it on. And then let them see, oh man, everybody's buying these clothes. Let me get some. It's like, at, at this point, I don't even want your business anymore. And this is where that saying comes in, where people start saying, Oh, you started making money and you changed. No, I didn't. I didn't. I started making money and I got smarter. That's what I did. Because I tried to fool with y'all and give y'all great, great deals when I was starting off, but you didn't want to fool with me. 
So now that I got everybody wearing it and it's buying and it's selling out, now you want to try to rock with me? Nah, see, to me, that's fake. That's fake. You only want a part of it because everybody else getting a part of it. So I'm going to just end this video, man, because I just wanted to rant for a second because I was thinking... I was just, it was just heavy on my mind, just heavy on my mind. I'm like, it's crazy how people could be starting their own car wash business, carpet cleaning service, and have great prices, but people will not fool with them. They won't fool with you trying to do car wash for $25, but then they'll go to this auto spot and spend 50, 75 bucks on the same car wash that you could have did, and probably even better. But then once they see everybody starting to come get their car washed by you and you ain't got no time to do it, now they want to try to come mess with you. To me, that's not cool, man. That's big follower vibes. Big Everybody want to be a leader or a trendsetter or be that person that, oh, this, 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 everybody going to... But you really not. Because you doing what everybody else do. You hear a song first, you don't like it, and everybody else start dancing to it and they like it. Oh, now you want to rock to it. That's big follower vibes to me, man. It really is. But I don't want to keep harping on this issue or this problem that I'm having, or not even problem that I'm having, but this problem that was on my mind and just say, you know what I'm saying? Start rocking with, start having your own opinions, man. Start, start being rebels to society and stop trying to wait for everything to be a trend before you to like it. If you like it, rock with it, man. It don't matter what other people think because only thing that should matter is your opinion. But I mean, like I said, if you got the big follower vibes and I understand why you won't mess with something to somebody else do. I know my boy back in the crib got his own little building, his own little venue set up. I know people rocking with it, but I know some people like, uh, well, we, I'm, I'm going to see how I do first before I start. Man, listen, that's, that's, I ain't even going to curse, but that's messed up. That is big follower vibes. You trying to wait and see how something going to turn out before you start. Man, look, <laughs> I don't even want to keep going on and on about this, man. But I just want to say, man, regardless if y'all mess with me or not, if y'all mess with small businesses or not, if y'all support some small businesses or not, or not even necessarily small businesses, just people that's trying to, just people that's trying to make it, that's actually doing good. I still love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to love y'all, man. Because it is still people that come here to support me. There is still people that buy my stuff and support me. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm always going to show love to them. But I do just want to give a shout out to all the, 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 the people that's out there that's waiting to see how things going to turn out. Or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see if everybody else start rocking with it first before I do. Shout out to y'all, man, because y'all the ones that going to get left behind. And then y'all going to be the ones talking about, oh, man, he got money and started changing, or he did this and started changing. No, I got smarter. But until next time, it's your boy, KG, two times, King Green. Welcome to my story, baby.